Going on guys, it's uh, got a little bit of a problem since the phone. And I'll show you what I did before and how I did it again. So after it cured in the back of the hatch, I have a little issue where, look, I can't even pull it out. It won't come out, but it's unlatched. So here's what I'll do. So you can see back here after it expanded and cured all the way in the back, all the way across the bottom. So this is only the bottom holding it in. So what I got is my jack here. As y'all know, if you watch my other videos, I guess I'm a little obsessed with using the jack, but hey, it works for me. So what I did is it's gonna be pressing against the box and against the back hatch wood, since luckily, hey, I got some wood there. So, and I'm gonna jack this sucker out. It's gonna pop out. So you can hear the foam moving. There you go. See, you can hear all the foam breaking. If y'all didn't hear that already, that was a pretty cool sound. And just keep jacking it out, it'll come out. There we go. It's a lot of pressure, but it'll work. All right, so y'all can see how this side is kind of bowed and this side is out. So that means it's kind of stuck on one end and not the other still. So we're gonna keep going, it's almost out. Let's go open it in the back, make sure. There we go. I got it out just like that. So I used my jack to pull it out, pry it out. I made a little dent there, but it'll be right. It'll tape over, you won't even know. But now I know for sure it's completely foamed off and sealed. So, so the reason why I did this is so I can make sure that my contour of my back hatch will seal up against the wood on my back hatch with the platform. And then I'm just gonna trim it down off camera. Had a little explosion it looks like in one area, but nothing wrong with that. And just clean that up. Whenever you close it, some of the foam moved. But it's definitely looking good. It's gonna be an airtight seal too, so of happy with the results it says it takes up to eight to ten hours of cure 15 minutes trim time but looks like it's good it's not perfect looking but it works for me all right so we'll go ahead and look at the other area wow that was an airtight seal and it just shut down here now it's curing it's already cured too i'm not really going to trim all this down here nobody's going to see it anyway uh, my main focus was just to make sure that all of my foam cures and it seals off all the way. Because before, if y'all watched previous video, the reason I did that is so all the air that was trapped and escaping under there. Same with around the box over here on this end. I'll trim this up a little bit. But that turned out really well. And uh, I was going to do the foam, which y'all saw before right here, but I decided not to. I'm thinking about doing a wood baffle around here. So I'm going to put some kind of wood platform around there and I might foam around that. I'm not sure yet. But the reason I would do that is so that the glass on the back end, just like on the on the sides, on the front and the back I had, on the sides I'll be able to actually seal off around the crease and tape up. I might do that, I'm not sure yet, to see what kind of wood I got left. But I'll be working on that too. Find out some meter results, looking forward to finding out how well it is. So stay tuned, definitely gonna do a video on the meter results soon. So happy with that. Um, that back area though, gonna do some work while well, it's early. Oh, well, my hatch got a lot heavier. But I'm about to go off camera and clean this up. So that's a build up date. So if you guys ever do something like this, stupid like I do, but hey, it works for me, it gets louder. Use a jack or something and it works perfect. Now it's completely sealed. All right, Jacob Vile out. I'll see y'all in the next one.
What's going on everybody? This is Jacob Viral ending this video to say thank you for watching my videos. Every single day I have a daily cardio video I upload. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell and I'll see you tomorrow.